Appendicitis Introduction The appendix is a small, finger-like appendage attached to the cecum just below the ilocecal valve. Because the appendix empties into the colon inefficiently and its lumen is small, it is prone to becoming obstructed and is vulnerable to infection, appendicitis. Definition Appendicitis, also known epitiva epiatlitis, is the inflammation of the appendix which is a small finger-like appendage attached to the cecum. Appendicitis is an inflammation of appendix characterized by acute, severe abdominal pain. The abdomen is most tender at McBurney's point. Incidence Appendicitis is actually a common disorder. Appendicitis is the most common cause of acute surgical abdomen. It is the most common reason for emergency abdominal surgery. Appendicitis commonly occurs between the ages 10 and 30 years. Risk factors Infection, possibly stomach infection that has traveled to the site of appendix. Obstruction such as a hard piece of stool getting trapped in the appendix leading to infection of the appendix. Extreme of age. Previous abdominal surgery. Types. Acute appendicitis. Acute appendicitis, as its name implies, develops very fast, usually in a span of several days or hours. It is easier to detect and requires prompt medical treatment, usually surgery. Acute appendicitis occurs when the vermiform appendix is completely obstructed, either because of a bacterial infection, faces or other types of blockage. Infection may also cause swelling of the lymph nodes, which then adds pressure on the appendix, cutting off its blood supply. Chronic appendicitis Chronic appendicitis is an inflammation that can last for a long time. This is rare according to a report published in Therapeutic Advances in Gastroenterology, it only occurs in only 1.5% of recorded acute appendicitis cases. Basically, chronic appendicitis means that the appendiceal lumen is only partially obstructed, causing inflammation. The inflammation worsens over time, causing internal pressure to build up. Stump appendicitis A rare appendectomy side effect in most instances of appendicitis, an appendectomy is the usual procedure recommended, and it works by completely taking out the appendix to prevent it from rupturing. If the appendix has already ruptured, additional treatment measures are performed during an appendectomy, as the infection needs to be prevented from spreading. Causes Acute appendicitis seems to be the end result of a primary obstruction of the appendix e.g. facolith. Once this obstruction occurs, the appendix becomes filled with mucus and swells. This continued production of mucus leads to increased pressures within the lumen and the walls of the appendix. The increased pressure results in thrombosis and occlusion of the small vessels, and stasis of lymphatic flow. Common causes Fecal impaction and or a fecality a layered buildup of calcium salts and fecal debris around a piece of fecal material within the appendix. Lymphoid hyperplasia, the appendix contains lymphoid, immune system, tissue that can become inflamed as a result of infection or inflammatory bowel disease, IBD. Parasites, examples, schistosomes species, pinworms, strongylodiasis, stercorolis. Uncommon causes. Tumors. Foreign material, a wide variety of foreign objects can become lodged in the appendix. Some of these include shotgun pellets, intrauterine devices, tongue studs, and activated charcoal. Trauma. Intestinal wounds. Lymphadenitis. Pathophysiology. Clinical manifestations. Local tenderness is elicited at McBurney's point when pressure is applied. Rebound tenderness, i.e., production or intensification of pain when pressure is released, may be present. Symptoms Abdominal pain, 95%. Anorexia, 70%. Constipation, 4 to 16%. Diarrhea, 4 to 16%. Fever, 10 to 20%. Pain in right lower quadrant, 50 to 60%. Nausea, vomiting. 
sides. Abdominal tenderness, 95%. Right lower quadrant tenderness, 90%. Rebound tenderness, 30 to 70%. Rectal tenderness, 30 to 40%. Cervical motion tenderness, 30%. Rigidity, 10%. Signs specific for appendicitis. Robsing's sign. Palpating in the left lower quadrant causes pain in the right lower quadrant. Obturator's sign. Internal rotation of the hip causes pain, suggesting the possibility of an inflamed appendix located in the pelvis. Dunphy's sign. Increased pain in the right lower quadrant with cuffing. Iliopsos sos sign. Extending the right hip causes pain along posterolateral back and hip, suggesting retroscal appendicitis. Sitkovskaya, Rosenstein, S. Sign. Increased pain in the right iliac region as the person is being examined lies on his her left side. Assessment and diagnostic findings. Diagnosis is based on the results of a complete physical examination and on laboratory findings and imaging studies. History taking. Take a complete personal, diet, medical and surgical history and evaluate the signs and symptoms in chronology. Physical examination. Assessment of various signs mentioned earlier. CBC count. A complete blood cell count shows an elevated WBC count, with an elevation of the neutrophils. Abdominal X-ray films may reveal a right lower quadrant density or localized distension of the bubble. Ultrasound studies. A peristaltic, non-compressible, dilated appendix, 6 mm outer diameter. Distinct appendiceal wall layers. Periappendiceal fluid collection enlargement. CT scans. Dilated appendix with distended lumen, 6 mm diameter. Thickened and enhancing wall. Thickening of the cecal apex, up to 80%. Pregnancy test. A pregnancy test may be performed for women of childbearing age to rule out ectopic pregnancy and before X-rays are obtained. Laparoscopy. A diagnostic laparoscopy may be used to rule out acute appendicitis in equivocal cases. Seriactive protein. Protein produced by the liver when bacterial infections occur and rapidly increases within the first 12 hours. Modified Alvardu score. The Alvardu score is the most widely used scoring system. A score below 5 suggests against a diagnosis of appendicitis, whereas a score of 7 or more is predictive of acute appendicitis. Medical management. Medical management should be performed carefully to avoid altering the presenting symptoms. For fluids. To correct fluid and electrolyte imbalance and dehydration, four fluids are administered prior to surgery. Antibiotic therapy. To prevent sepsis, antibiotics are administered until surgery is performed. Sfotaxim 250 mg, 500 mg, Levofloxacin 500 mg, metronidazole 500 mg 100 ml, 400 mg tablet. Analgesics, morphine sulfate 10 mg per milliliter. Drainage. When perforation of the appendix occurs, an abscess may form and patient is initially treated with antibiotics and the surgeon may place a drain in the abscess. Surgical management. Immediate surgery is typically indicated if appendicitis is diagnosed. Appendectomy. Appendectomy or the surgical removal of the appendix is performed as soon as it is possible to decrease the risk of perforation. Laprotomy and laparoscopy. Both of these procedures are safe and effective in the treatment of appendicitis with perforation. Nursing management. A focus of the nurse's management is the preparation of the patient for surgery. Nursing assessment. Assessment of a patient with appendicitis may be both objective and subjective. Assess the level of pain. Assess relevant laboratory findings. Assess patient's vital signs in preparation for surgery. Diagnosis. Based on the assessment data, the most appropriate diagnosis for a patient with appendicitis are acute pain related to obstructed or inflamed appendix surgical incision. 
risk for deficient fluid volume related to preoperative wanting, postoperative restrictions, risk for infection related to ruptured appendix, planning and goals. Goals for a patient with appendicitis include relieving pain, preventing fluid volume deficit, reducing anxiety, eliminating infection due to the potential or actual disruption of the GI tract, maintaining skin integrity, attaining optimal nutrition, nursing interventions. The nurse prepares the patient for surgery, for infusion, and for infusion is made to replace fluid loss and promote adequate renal functioning. Antibiotic therapy. Antibiotic therapy is given to prevent infection. Positioning. After the surgery, the nurse places the patient on a high fowler's position to reduce the tension on the incision and abdominal organs, thereby reducing pain. Oral fluids. When tolerated, oral fluids could be administered. Evaluation. Relieved pain. Prevented fluid volume deficit. Reduced anxiety. Eliminated infection due to the potential or actual disruption of the GI tract. Maintained skin integrity. Attained optimal nutrition. Complications. If appendicitis is left untreated, a complication could occur. Perforation of the appendix. This is a major complication of appendicitis, which can lead to peritonitis, abscess formation, or portal pyleflebitis. Perforation generally occurs 24 hours after the onset of pain. Symptoms include a fever of 37.7 C or greater, a toxic appearance, and continued abdominal pain or tenderness. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.